Here at the Birmingham Humane Society, dozens of dogs count on refrigerated medicine to stay healthy. Then around 3.30 Thursday, severe thunderstorms knocked out power here, triggering an aging generator. It kind of kicked up and then it stopped, kicked up again, and then just completely blew. So we were out of power and out of a generator. So the dog adoption center was forced to close. It took nearly five hours to get the generator back up and running. And what made the timing of last night's blackout even worse is that about two dozen dogs were scheduled to be shipped out today to a brand new home in Wisconsin and staff had to prepare each pup for the long journey in the pitch black darkness. So in the dark, our veterinarian is walking around with a headlamp. We're walking around with uh, flashlights, which, you know, is a little disturbing to the pets, I think, because it was so black and then we're walking around with lights, but um, it all worked out. In addition to knocking out the power, the storm strong winds also knocked down numerous trees in these outdoor play areas. Grateful that it didn't hit any cars, grateful that it didn't hit the building, yeah. um, just mostly a lot of the exterior stuff. By lunch today, employees and volunteers had already piled up most of the debris, and these Midwest bound dogs were ready to hit the road. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13.